Hi everybody, welcome to Excel Video 516. I'm Nate Moore. I spent some time on the phone just the other day with the group who was looking to expand clinics. We've got three locations, we're thinking about a fourth. So what we did was we grabbed all of the zip codes from the past two and a half years of patient visits, all the zip codes from the past two and a half years of collections, and plotted them on a 3D map. And then it was easy to see, here's the locations that might be cannibalized, or here's where the patients might come from to feed this new clinic. Very powerful new tool as you try to analyze running your practice like a business. If I can do the same for your practice, I'd love to. I want to show you a couple other things from the menu today. Just briefly touch on three things that are up on the menu. The first one is, so I've got five scenes here. One way to save those five scenes and distribute them is right next to Play Tour, you can create a video. And what you can do is you can choose the resolution and, and how much space it will take. That's a big part of it. And, and a lot of it's driven by what you're going to do with this thing. If you want it to be high def, that's one thing. If you just want it quick and dirty, you're going to put it on a mobile, that's another. Notice that besides this, you can do a soundtrack. And again, this isn't, I mean, this isn't the world's most advanced video feature, but you can add a soundtrack. You can loop it and fade it in and out, and you can browse and I'll just browse to say MP4, MP3. There's a bunch of different audio formats you can attach to this. And, you, and it says, hey, your video is going to be 37 seconds. So you can get your soundtrack about the same and you can run with it. I have done this on a small scale and said, you know, here's two or three as an example. I have not tried to do an hour and a half presentation or some awful thing. This is not movie software. If you try to do that, it will, my experience is and what I've heard is, It'll take an awful long time to render in. It'll, it, it's probably not what you want to do. But for a brief presentation as part of a PowerPoint or something like that, say here's two or three things in motion, two or three scenes, it can be very, very powerful and helpful for you. Another way to capture the data is from this capture screen button. And so what you can do, you, it's a little bit confusing because you click capture screen and nothing happens. But if I went over here to PowerPoint, and I said, all right, let's paste this thing into a slide. You can see what Excel has done for me is they've created a screen capture of the map as it's currently shown. And so and I put it in a, a, a picture that I can then move around. It's, it's static. This is not linked. If I come back to Excel and try to add some more features or change colors or whatever, this is not linked. It's simply a, a screen capture. Let me close this for me. I prefer to just use something like the Windows Snipping tool so I can get exactly what I want, no more, no less, as opposed to being kind of constrained a bit to the whole area. So I don't use Capture Screen. I've never used it for anything. Have I done screen captures? Yeah, just the other day with the group I worked with. We had three or four or five maps, and we picked a couple of uh, key visualizations we wanted to see. We did those with the Snipping tool and then put those into a PowerPoint presentation. But this is here if you need it. Last thing I want to show you is themes. It, first thing I'm going to say is you're talking to a CPA, not a graphic design guy, but I use the default power map theme 95% of the time. You can hover and say this is aerial color or aerial dark, color gray, and as you hover it will tell you what it is. So you can click on it and you say, all right, do I want satellite imagery as part of my map or do I want it more grayscale? This is going to be another one like that. And again, you can hover and say this is going to be earthy, modern, organic, whatever. High contrast is going to be really bright. And to be honest, you can click through them and see what you like. For me, for what I try to do, the normal scene, the one that's called Power Map, works just fine. There's more tricks to the way this is displayed. Now that we've talked how to save it, I want to work through this map section. We'll do it in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.